So in this video we're going to talk about doing the fuel filter on a 2003 S10 and that fuel filter is located just right here as you can see in the picture. Let's go ahead and get started. So on this bracket there's a 13 millimeter bolt that's right here that you need to do to unloosen the clamp. On the fuel line, there's tabs right at the very top on all three of them. You need to pinch those in and just slide the fuel line off. Get a turkey, take it off and get a better angle of it. And so something that I forgot and nobody ever really mentioned in the videos is yeah, I have a completely full tank of gas right now. So since the truck is up on its side and it's in a weird angle, it's leaking um, out of the, uh, the return. So I had to do this while I was making the videos for all the other stuff, but yeah, we'll go ahead and plug the fuel filter in so that it'll stop doing that. All right, so I'm gonna show you something that's weird. On the stock fuel filter, it has both clear ones on the front and a colored one on the back. When you get the new clips, there's two essentially white ones and a colored one. So you would think that they would go the same way, but it doesn't, this clear one is too big and actually fits on the back right here. And the colored one goes in the middle right here. So we'll go ahead and switch the clamp over and then go get it plugged in. All right, so when I was putting it on, uh, only one of the clips actually fit. And then I switched them around and they still didn't fit. So I don't know what the deal was with the manufacturer. Um, I don't even remember who it is. I'll figure it out by the end and tell you. So I took the clips off the old filter and put them on so they should fit now. So then plug that all together. To get these clips off, all you have to do is use something like a pick or a small screwdriver to prop these little tabs up over. I'll try to do this while I'm holding it. There's one and then push it up over the, 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 the tongue and then try to get the other one right there and it's and see now it's pushed past so it should come off so now that it's clipped in you need to put the the brake lines back in these spots and put the bolt back in just by turning it pressing them back into the lines and then bolting it putting the bolt in now that it's plugged in, we're gonna turn the key on to see what the fuel pressure does to see if it makes it leak at all. And cycle the key a few times. No leak, so we'll try to start the truck. Still no leak, so we're good to go.